for our first step, we are going to locate the areas on our frames to place our side cross members. These will keep our frame rigid, straight, and square. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some masking tape, making sure the ends are lined up, and we're going to simply put some tape around each portion of our frame. This will allow us to make sure all of our lines we transfer will be on nice and straight and even, and our frame will become square when we are done. Make it nice and tight, make sure that both pieces of material are together nice and snug like this. For these three pieces, we are going to tape them together so we can make sure all the lines we transfer on these are even as well. We'll take them apart when we use the saw to cut them. Nice and snug. There. We're going to use another piece of the wood and roughly half an inch in from one end. Measure carefully. We're going to make a mark here. Roughly half an inch in from the other end. We're going to make a mark. We're going to use one piece of wood the same size and we're going to simply score across both sides of it like this. We will also need to determine what we are going to call the front of our mousetrap car and we will make lines that will equal the distance to support the mousetrap car. So we're going to move it forward slightly and approximately here. The mousetrap itself is four inches long. So as long as you're within the window of four inches, this way the mousetrap is supported properly. I'm going to come on the inside edge. Once again, we're going to take our little piece of wood, mark the line across both of them, and it will look like this. To continue marking our cross members, we're simply going to line up our piece of wood right to the very edges of it, and we're going to draw a line like this. We do the same on both ends of it. That marks out the width of our frame. That way when we have these together, everything will line up nicely. We're going to take our measure, measuring device and we're going to measure down about halfway on this piece of wood. This piece of wood is just slightly less than half an inch, but we're going to go half the distance of this piece, which on this one is roughly 3 16ths of an inch this and we have to remember what side we're working with. We're going to measure down 3 16 of an inch. These are our marks. These are where we're going to cut down when we get to the scroll saw to make our cross members. We're also going to do the same thing on the frame side rails. Measure down about halfway. Measure down about halfway for each one. Double check your measurements all the time. It's easier to measure twice and cut once and measure the wrong way. You have to redo your project because you made a mistake at the very beginning. We have our marks here. We're going to take our ruler once again just to finish up those lines so we have some proper reference. Line each one up that you've done. Come across, come across, come across. Now we can just finish that up with our pencil and close that line in. Close that line in. And we'll close this line in. We are going to be going over to the scroll saw we're going to remove this material. All of this material I'm marking, we will be removing. One moment, we'll take it over to the scroll saw. 